In our 5 o'clock hour, you heard wearing military medals you did not earn is protected as free speech. Now, many veterans are upset about this court ruling, but 27 First News reporter James Santelli made a call to a First Amendment expert who says the court made the right decision. I'd rather us not have a justification that the reason to punish this speech is because it upset other people. I think that's very dangerous. Lincoln Banlow is an attorney in Los Angeles who works on many First Amendment lawsuits. He has been following the case that was just decided by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. They say unless you're lying to defraud someone out of money, wearing a military honor is protected as free speech. I think eventually, you know, the, the truth will find its way to the public marketplace. And that's really the remedy here. And there are websites that let people check if someone has served or won an award. But a veteran I spoke with is not sure stolen valor should qualify under the First Amendment. It's the same as me uh, dressing up as a Catholic priest. Uh, and that's just not appropriate because I'm not one. So why would I wear something that I didn't earn? Both men I spoke with agreed that falsely claiming to be a military hero is unethical. But should federal courts rule that it's a crime? That's still up for debate. Really, the only potential harm that gets done by this speech is someone's upset about it. And if we're going to say someone's upset about it and therefore you can restrict speech, we're going to get rid of the First Amendment pretty quick. We believe very strongly about the freedom of speech. We want to protect freedom of speech. But there's a, there's a limit. There's a limit on what is speech and what is action. A debate that will continue to go on. In Youngstown, James Santelli, WKBN 27 First News.